In recent versions of Photoshop, you've now got various things like smart filters, smart objects, and you can also use them with pattern layers. Now I'm going to go to the layer, new fill layer, pattern, click OK. These are graphicextras.com patterns, but you can use any patterns you can find on the web or ones you've created yourself, of course. Click OK at this point. Go to the Layers palette. Go to Convert to Smart Object. Now, as soon as you do that, the filters become smart filters. So basically, you can apply the filter effects to the pattern. So I'm just going to, just a basic one, Gaussian Blur. So I can just do that. Click OK at that point. Now, that is modifiable at a later point. So I'm just going to the Gaussian Blur. Just obviously bring that up again. I, I don't want that blur. I can have a slight, slight difference. Click OK. Of course, I can add multiple filters at this point. But not only that, I can also go to the Pattern Fill. Double click it after editing contents. Blah, blah, blah. File Save. Click there. PSP, PSB file pops up. And now I can modify the pattern. So I'm just going to double click on that. Just change it to another pattern. Change the scale if I wish, maybe 50. Click OK. And I can go to File, Save. Get rid of that. And now the pattern that I was using with the blur is actually still there with the blur, but it's obviously the new orange pattern that's been used. And of course, this creative process, you can change your mind at any point. So very useful way of changing patterns and effects.